Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at getting Couchbase server up and running on a Mac computer. Whether this be a Mac server or just a Mac desktop for, for prototyping and testing, uh, whatever the story may be, we're going to get uh, up and running in no time at all. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is we're, we're going to install Couchbase server. So I don't have it installed on my machine as of right now, but it did navigate to couchbase.com slash downloads. And on the downloads page, you'll be able to select between community and enterprise edition. Uh, and then down at the bottom of the page, uh, there is descriptions on the differences between community and enterprise edition. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and download the enterprise edition beta for Mac OS X. So I'm going to click download. Okay, so the 4.5 beta uh, should be downloaded on my desktop as of right now. So I'm going to navigate to the next window on my screen. Uh, as you can see, I do have... Uh, Couchbase 4.5 downloaded. It's a zip archive. I'm going to extract it. Uh, it'll create a new folder and inside that folder will be the application binary. So what I can do is I can open up my applications uh, directory on my Mac and I can actually just drag that binary over into my applications directory. So because Mac OS X uh, does have permission rules in, in place, double clicking on it uh, probably won't work the first time uh, because you do have to validate uh, that you trust the package. Uh, so you usually have to right click on it and then choose open and then it will say that you downloaded it. Uh, so do you want to open it? And I'm going to say open. Uh, so after it is open, it does show up in the, uh, in the toolbar at the top, uh, at the top right. So it will be in your taskbar. Uh, it will also launch uh, the Couchbase dashboard. And in case it doesn't, or in case you need to access it in the future, it's just localhost on port 8091. You can also access it uh, by clicking on the taskbar item and choosing to open the admin console. So we're going to set it up. As we can see, it does say 4.5 Enterprise Edition. We're going to click Setup, uh, and we can see these different features right here. Uh, so it'll give you the opportunity to set where you want to uh, store data. Uh, it'll let you configure the host name. Uh, and then it'll let you start a new cluster. So this is the first install of Couchbase on my Mac. Uh, so it's actually going to be a new node in the cluster. I do have a lot of RAM, but I don't want to give it that much RAM uh, because this is just my local machine, not a server. So I'm actually going to give it something smaller like uh, uh, 2048 megabytes of RAM. I'm going to leave the index RAM quota and full text RAM quota as the default. Uh, and I'm going to leave everything else as the default. I'm also selecting that I do want the indexing service, the query service. I'm also going to enable uh, the full text service because this is beta. It's it's not quite yet supported, but uh, for my demonstration purposes, uh, that's it's perfectly acceptable. So I'm going to click next. The next screen here, uh, we have the opportunity to install uh, a few sample buckets. Uh, so these are buckets with sample data so that way you can play around with any of the SDKs and try to get a feel for Couchbase. I'm going to go ahead and install the travel sample bucket and click next. We also do need to have a default bucket. Um, so this default bucket, uh, we can set it to any size. Uh, for me, I, I don't want it to use all of my quota, so I'm just going to set it to be 100 megabytes because again, this is just for prototyping. Uh, and I'm going to leave all of the other settings uh, as the default. Click Next. Uh, so uh, it probably is a good idea uh, to enable software updates. Uh, so I'm going to leave that blank. Uh, you'll also fill out the product registration form and you'll agree to the terms and conditions and click Next. Finally, the screen uh, you'll be left with is you'll have to create an administrator username and password account. So I'm going to use my username as administrator. And I'm just going to set up a simple password. I'm going to call this one password. So again, this is this is nothing special uh, because this is just prototyping for me. Click Next. And now we are set up with Couchbase Server. And you can see uh, that it is setting, well, it was setting up uh, the server. So it's, it's loading the travel sample bucket. We can see uh, different analytic information. If we go to data buckets, uh, we'll see we have the default bucket and we have the travel sample bucket, which is still being loaded. Uh, so you can see different information around that aspect. Uh, and that's all it took to get up and running with Couchbase Server. There wasn't a whole lot to it. 